What's going on my guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am Garrett with Game by the Beach. Very excited to be here with you today because we are going to be jumping into Floor 10 for the first time since the update. We're going to hit our man, what's up, GMK, my man helping me out today. First time, okay? We have not completed any of the dungeon floors. So as of right now, we're going to be trying out the typical method that I do, and we're actually uh, we're actually doing a double damage right here, which is fine, and I'm rocking my knight statue, okay? If you guys haven't seen my most recent video, we did try out Grindstone. I like Grindstone. I think it's better than it used to be. I do not think it's better than knight statue still. So we're going to be rocking with knight statue, and, uh, and hopefully we can take out floor 10 and show off some of the new bosses that are out and... This isn't a new strategy, right? This is the old strategy. So this used to be able to complete floor 10 very easily before the update. Only time will tell if we're still able to complete it that easily after the update. So let's jump right in. We've got Puppeteer in one wave. We've got, uh, he's got a rank 10, uh, rank 10, rank four Dryad, rank 10 Dryad. That would be crazy. Um, but after Puppeteer, it's going to move us around. It's going to rank us down. It's going to do all that stuff. It's all good because uh, once that goes away, we'll be able to do whatever the heck we want. 200, 100. Lego. All right. A little spam in here. We've got our portal keeper. We're ready to go. We're going to move that. We're going to move that. We are going to... Literally, we're just going to move one Inquis. And one knight statue. And then other than that, our board is good. I'm going to move this guy down once. We don't have dryad, so just remember that. We need to be able to level up our... Uh, that's not what I meant to do. Our scrapper to rank 2 before we really do anything. Because that means that we have a rank 2 and we can kind of go from there. So we're just going to do that. Let's make sure that we're able to eat all of these units... And have a full board because that's going to give us our best chance for us to get a rank 2. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do that right there because it's worth it. Now we can go from there. I don't have any um, bombardiers, but that's okay. I did want that bombardier on that knight statue, but who really cares? Come on now, right? We're just going to do that. We're going to go over there. As long as that, that bombardier gets ranked up like pretty significantly then it really doesn't matter whether or not it's on a knight statue or not. Okay, so let's just continue on. So far, so good. Trying to use all my mana. We have a ton of mana, which is a fantastic start for this game. And we're actually... Oh, well, I, uh, I'll just do that, I guess. Bombardier did trigger. That was actually a little bit dangerous. He took a hit right there because he does not have Bombardier. Take it out. Come on, don't you dare. All right, Tribunal. Tribunal is going to hit us pretty much no matter what. Uh, and we have the hit on mana. I think right away I notice more HP on the bosses. I think we do right away. I noticed that. But we've still got a significant amount of mana. This wave, it doesn't matter if we have Bombardier as much. So I'd rather just attempt to get uh, let's just hang out with that i'm gonna rather attempt to get um my units leveled up a little bit more but we can protect that and we can protect that i mean if we get another eh, all right let's just hold on to that because now we have a better chance of at least keeping a bombardier on our board we're gonna get a hit from uh from tribunal the only time i take out tribunal outright is when my partner is playing clock of power and when we're doing a support deck but realistically this should go quicker hopefully this method works and if it doesn't we're showcasing his level 13 oliver what's up you saying hi come on over come on bud Whee! people said they wanted to see more oliver in the videos here he is but guys if you are enjoying this video make sure that you are subscribed to the channel like the video and also share the channel with your friends. If you think they would enjoy the content, share with them. Because it enables me to continue producing that content. And it also helps us grow our Rush Royale community. Alright, let's see what we do. 
We have two rank two scrappers, which is usually not what I want. But uh, the fact that we're going to get hit by Tribunal, hopefully one of those stands. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to do that. Okay, so we weren't able to save either of our Bombardiers, but that's okay. Or a rank one scrapper. We don't have a rank one scrapper, but let's spam. We do have a decent amount of mana. Okay, so we can do that. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Uh, let's hold on for right now because we could get that Bombardier. If we find a Bombardier. Bombardier! We can put him... Oh, you okay? You okay? We can put him down back on that Knight Statue and then it worked out. See, we can do that. Beautiful little scrap ring right there. We can do that. We can do that. We can go down here. We can eat that. And I think this board is shaping up pretty good. You want to go down? You okay? You want to just lie in the lap? We He took a little tumble recently, so he's still recovering a little bit, but he's going to be okay. He's going to be okay. We're going to move our mans over here. Hopefully you can still hear me pretty well. We're going to play through the middle here. We're going to do that. We're going to do all this. Oh, we already got to our active. Already got to our active ability. Here, let me put you down, honey. You're, you're having a little bit of a tough time. All right. You okay, bud? You okay? Why don't you come this way? There you go. Now we'll get back resituated. We're going to go for a walk as soon as this video is over. It's going to be great. One wave until virus. I never really worry about virus at this point. We'll see if uh, it seems a little bit more deadly than before, but I'm really not worried about it. I like our board a lot. Uh, it could be fun to have... Ooh, we have a rank two up there. I'm just going to eat that. Could be fun to have Dryad in this deck just to level up our units a little bit quicker, but it shouldn't really matter. And I'm just going to... Oh, I already have my active. We've got another inspiration for gadget which means we're going to be spamming that out even quicker and quicker but for right now and i feel i feel like they changed virus a little bit because it hasn't been as deadly recently and maybe that's just all in my mind but it hasn't been as deadly as i feel like it used to be he's rocking this with one boy you've got one uh tesla and you're killing it that's pretty incredible we're not going to do anything at the moment just because we want virus to go away and then we can keep building our board up once again when king pudding comes I'm going to try and spam my board a little bit. The fewer, you know, uh, a fewer spaces or vacant spaces on the board there are, the less chance that King Pudding's going to hit the, the units that you actually want to save. But we got two rank fives already. We've got two rank twos. I don't think it's really going to matter all that much what I'm doing because I think he's probably going to be able to clear this wave no matter what. He probably already has in the past. If you guys are curious what his talents are, that's what he's doing. I've only got a level 7 Tesla, so I don't have much experience with talents or even just gameplay in, in general. So we're just going to hang out right here. Maybe I'll spam a little bit just to see what else we can find. I'll do that. Another uh, another bomb... or. Uh, Portal Keeper is fine. Another Portal Keeper. Another Portal Keeper. Knight Statue. We'll just eat the Knight Statue. One more unit. There's a Bombardier. We've got a full board, which is very, very nice. And, uh, you know, maybe I'll even try to keep one Portal Keeper around. It might help us later on. So we'll have to see. This Rank 2 Knight Statue is like the only thing I don't like. I feel like we've been very patient this game. Waiting, 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 and seeing when the right time is to spam and when the right time is to is to kind of hold and hold our mana and, and gain some mana. So let's see. Okay, uh, let's try. Let's try and hold on to one of these um, portal keepers because we will be able to get rid of pudding off of this guy if we are able. So that could be kind of good. We're going to do that. We're going to do that. I don't need this one either. We can do that. We're still holding on. If it does get hit, that would be awesome. And then we can actually just get rid of it right away with our uh, scrappers. So that's kind of my goal. We got a max knight statue down there, which is actually really nice. We're just going to do that. We're going to do that. Let's see. We get rank three. So not ideal there, but it's the only one that's gotten hit. That's really not bad at all. So I'm actually just going to erase it at this point. If it had stayed, if we had kept it and eventually we were able to switch it, that would have been awesome. But realistically, we don't need it as far as I know. I shouldn't say 
for certain because we have not beaten this before, technically, now that it's all different. But uh, I think we'll be okay. So we're just going to do that. We've got still high. We've got a rank 2 Bombardier, but it is on a Knight Statue, so that's really good. Keep on leveling things up. Now it's a rank 4, so you can see that Portal Keeper wasn't going to get ranked up anytime soon. So realistically, it doesn't matter that it uh, was eaten before we tried wholeheartedly to get it up. But guys... If you want to catch me live, we do live stream. We live stream exclusively on Twitch. It's just twitch.tv slash gamebytheBeach. And we'd love to see you guys there. You can play with me, play against me, challenge me, play different decks, play some co-ops together. Whatever the heck you want to do, we can make happen. And I'm also very excited because this is the first week that the update came out. So we're going to be talking about all the ups and downs and thoughts on everything update related related on this upcoming stream so that'll be a lot of fun but we're going through this guy pretty quickly i mean i don't think i've seen anything significantly different as of right now another inspiration it's just so useless uh from co-op but this is only floor 10 i don't think we've even seen different um i don't think we've even seen different bosses yet this guy's max. He just got hit again. We've got a six. We got a three and a four. So I'd love to have a couple of those get ranked up and this guy get ranked up. They've been very selective so far. We've got a max and a max. And then we've still got twos and threes. So I'm interested to see what happens at 35. So right now, already, we've got Grandmaster coming up, which Grandmaster isn't a new boss. It was introduced, I don't know, in one of the past updates. I don't know, two updates ago, three updates ago, something like that. However, if you don't know, Wave 35 on Floor 10 was always Bedlam, okay? It was always Bedlam. So that's something different. It always used to be Bedlam. Now it's Grandmaster, which, I don't know, maybe they buffed Grandmaster. Maybe it's tough. I don't think I've ever had an issue taking out Grandmaster before, but maybe we will this time. I hope not, but maybe we will. You never really know, so... Let's just keep on going here. Two waves to go. I'm kind of running out of space. I've got too many scrappers at the moment, but I can't really combine them out because I get something that I don't want, and there's not a whole lot that I could do. We're going to do that. Get that guy leveled up. Don't mind that at all. Rank 5. I really wish this guy would get ranked up because it is on a max knight statue. And this bombardier. I mean, our bombardier, that's really important to have a bombardier get leveled up significantly. So it's kind of a shame that... Uh, He's so underwhelming right now. Let's get one more. Nope, we're not going to be able to do it right there. Now we're going to be able to do one. And a beautiful Bombardier little upgrade right there is a great thing. We're going to be able to drop our gadget on Grandmaster. Let's see how we do. I don't think we'll have a problem. 20 million, though. I feel like that's significant. He did... Okay, he made us sleep, but he didn't move us around, so that's good. I'm okay with him making us sleep real quick. Now on to the last four waves. This has gone very, very quickly. And here comes the Monkey King. Okay, finally we're getting a boss that's a little bit different. And one of the best things about doing these waves that just came out, guys, the rewards should be very, very good. The rewards should be very, very good. So hopefully we get something pretty cool. And definitely you guys know what I'm hoping for. I don't think we get legendary cards. I'm really hoping for some epic units. I really want some of those new epic units to show off. That would be fantastic. But Monkey King, I'm excited to see what the heck the Monkey King does. Because I know I did videos on what each of these did. But I don't I don't remember what the heck. I gotta, I gotta witness them firsthand before I know what these bosses do. And then after that, maybe we can figure out how to counter it best, okay? But if I just read them like a week ago for a video, I don't remember what the heck what the heck they did. And I'm I'm assuming you guys don't either. So we're going to have to see. I think Bombardier should pause him. So which I'm saying that, but some of the bosses I remember weren't able to be paused. So it could have been Monkey King, I don't remember. Four, we got one more scrapper to go. He's got three Teslas over there holding down the fort. I guess we only have four Inquisits, so that doesn't really, matter. it doesn't really matter. This guy getting upgraded. Very, very nice right there. We might be able to get one more upgrade of Scrapper. That could be cool. He's rocking Chemist where I'm rocking Bombardier. I think it's very important to have Bombardier in here. If you have Chemist in here, it's awesome for damage output, but I don't do enough damage regardless. Um, 
quick enough to take out bosses. I need that stun. It's an absolute necessity. Got another scrapper over there. It could have been literally anything else, and we would have gotten an upgrade. We got one more scrapper to go. I think we'll be able to do it. 1,300. Here we go. This wave has not been a challenge at all. We got our bombardier up one more time. And here comes Monkey. We haven't had a single issue right here, and it's been completely solo. Here we go, Monkey King. Let me see him. Oh, it was. Oh, what the heck? He's throwing. Th oh, he's making me sleep. So he completely ignored my bombardier. Oh, there's another one. Multiple Monkey Kings? Is he ranking stuff down? Oh, he is ranking things down. Yo, Monkey King is elite. I genuinely don't know. Oh, finally we can do this. Good game. Nice job. I didn't even show these off at all. Help. Stop. If we were running support, that would have made sense. It would have made sense. Monkey King, actually a boss, okay? Wasn't stunned by Bombardier. Maybe it was for like a half second and then it jumped forward kind of like Tribunal. Ranked my units down and there was two of them. So I didn't, I, does it always come with two of them? Does it only come with one? And for some reason it comes for two right there. He's got 3,600 crit, you know, his, his equipment, very, very good. Okay, my equipment, not that exciting, okay? I don't know if we would have beaten that if we didn't have that type of uh, type of partner right there. If we were doing, if somebody was supporting us with Clock of Power, that probably would have taken out pretty good. But I don't know if I can solo that wave. That last wave was actually crazy how scary uh, good it was. All right, 551 million. So significantly, oh wait. No, that's about right because he did 600 million. Ignore me. Let's see what rewards we got. We got 16,000 gold which is very good 174 tokens i'm not gonna watch whatever the heck that was congratulations you have completed the floor thank you so much let's share with our friends give them that 100 gold now let's collect our chest i forgot how good these chests were come on they i just said they were good so you got to give me something very special 600 armor fragments already is great Six thousand gold so we actually made over twenty thousand uh, twenty thousand like twenty two thousand gold from that one one floor and a common avatar. Is that it? Is that it? I feel like those last chests were way, way better. So we beat floor 10. We now have floor 11, 12. Well, I guess I should just say just 11 is now available. Let me know how you guys have been doing on dungeons. Are you using the same strategy as you have in the past? Are you using a different strategy? Let me know in the comments. Let me know what I can do better and if you're still doing support or if you're doing double damage. That worked out pretty well. A little bit disappointed with the with the rewards there, to be perfectly honest. But what are you going to do? I think the next waves will probably be, probably be even better rewards than that one. But guys, that is going to be the end of this YouTube video. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will check you guys out in tomorrow's video.